Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have 25 bread and butter bolos. These are items that I sold for $35 or less. These are small sales that add up to big profits. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. So we are just going to get started. All right, so the first item I sold is these vintage reindeer. They are made in Japan. There's a little red sleigh. Uh, these came from a thrift store, and I have about a dollar in these. And you can see they are marked Japan on the bottom. Nothing too fancy here, guys. Um, I ended up taking a best offer of $25, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this mixed lot of Elsa and Anna. These are the Disney Frozen characters, Olaf, the Trolls. And these are from different play sets. I just lotted them together because they were the same theme. I ended up selling these for a best offer of $15 and the buyer paid shipping. Um, I got these at a thrift store for, it says cost of goods, 50 cents. So that's what I marked it as. Um, that seems really cheap, but sometimes at thrift stores, I get bags of um, little bags full of toys and they're 50 cents. So it was a good deal. The next item I sold is this coach black leather and metal replacement hang tag. This came out of a dibble box that I purchased off of Donatella Bottolino's uh, YouTube selling event. Um, it was a box that I bought for my husband. It had some manly items in it that he kind of collects. And there were some items that I could resell to pay for the box. So I talked my husband into doing the unboxing with me. That is over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel if you want to check that out. Meet the husband, see what he kept, see what I got to sell. But anyway, spoiler alert, this is one of the items I sold. And I sold it for $22.50. The buyer was all in for $29.02. I did spend $160 on that box. It was an auction style. Um, sometimes I buy mystery boxes from her, but this one was actually a dibble box, a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. Um, and I, I've recorded a couple other videos tonight and I've told this story and I feel like I've said dibble like 25 times tonight. So, um, a dibble box is basically a reseller box. It's a hodgepodge of things that you can buy and resell. And I always do really great with these. So the box was 160 and my husband was very happy. The next item I sold is this Arctic Zone High Performance Lunch Bag. This came out of a mystery box. I almost just donated it because I don't know why, but it was new with tags. And I'm like, why would you not list that? It's new with tags. I'm like, I don't know. It's boring. Okay, so I talked myself into listing it. And it sold for $12 plus shipping. The next item I sold are these Vintage Care Bears Teacher Classroom Posters from 1987. I thought these were going to go for more. I ended up taking a best offer of $30. The buyer was all in for $40.10. I picked these up at a garage sale in the free box. The next item, uh, this also came out of a dibble box. I can't remember if it was the same one or not. I think it was the same dibble box. And I sold this for $18 because the same person bought both of them. These are Vietnam War Veteran 50th Anniversary Eagle comm Commemorative lapel hat pin. Um, the buyer was all in for $23.03 with tax and shipping. And again, I believe it was in that same double box. The next is this replacement train track from the Tyco Sesame Street Elmo's radio controlled railroad. Um, I got this out of a mystery box and I actually had two pieces that were identical. So I did a multi-quantity listing. One has sold, one is still listed. Um, I ended up taking a best offer of $12 on this and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Polly Pocket Llama figure. Um, I did take a best offer of $10 and the buyer paid shipping on that. And it also came out of a mystery box. The next item is this Joy Cats uh, spoon rest. And I don't know, I don't typically pick up things like this. I picked it up at a thrift store for a buck. I don't know why. I Sometimes I pick things up and I'm like, why did you pick this up? But it actually sold pretty quickly for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage Barbie replacement McDonald's Happy Meal tray, and it clips on to the doll's arm. I ended up selling this for a best offer of $10. The buyer was all in for 15 dollars 
And I got that at a thrift store for about 10 cents. It was in a little bag of toys. The next item are these shoe clips. So these go like into Crocs um, and they're like decoration. I got these at a garage sale for $1 and I sold them for a best offer of $25 plus shipping. The next item are these Woolrich unisex socks. I picked these up at the Goodwill bins and I think I have a video where I actually sourced these, a bins video. I believe it is on this channel. And I ended up selling these socks for $13.50 and the buyer paid shipping. Um, the bins is by weight. So I probably had a dollar fifty in those maybe. The next item is this vintage pennant flag made in uh, Japan. It's a Hawaiian flag. And I ended up selling this for $11.24 and the buyer paid shipping. I think these are a pain. Um, I don't think I'm going to source these anymore. If they're bread and butter, I will only source them if they are big money. What I do is I take a cardboard box and I cut it down and I put this flag in between two pieces of cardboard and then I put it in a poly mailer. Um, that way it doesn't get bent during shipment. The next item I sold is this vintage, um, it's a snapback trucker hat, Tecumseh, I think is how you say it, made in the USA. I picked three of these up at a garage sale, which reminds me, I need to list another one. I don't think I've listed another one yet. Um, what hurt this hat is the stitching right here. It's kind of crooked. Uh, so I just disclosed it, but the patch is really, really cool. Uh, I paid a dollar for it and it sold for $34.95 best offer and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item are these vintage barrettes. They came out of that lot of uh, vintage hair things that I got that was like a super score. I've got videos on it and I probably got like 10, 15 cents in this and I sold these for $15 plus shipping. The next item are these Sophia the First cake toppers. They came out of a mystery box, I think, or I got them in a little baggie of toys at a thrift store. Uh, but they were, I think, all lotted together. And I sold these for $11.25. The buyer was all in for $18.70. The next item came from a thrift store. I had about a quarter in it. And it is Growl, the canine bot Transformers Rescue Bots for the police station. And I actually just sold the police station, I think, yesterday or the day before. I decided to part them out. Uh, this sold for $16.50 plus shipping. The next item is this Transformers Rescue Bots More Bot figure. And this is one of the ones that is a little bit harder to find, so it goes for a little more. I sold this for $22.50. And I did do videos on these. These are really, really easy to transform. But I figured I might as well um, just show people in case they don't know. Maybe if they want to see if it's age appropriate for their child. It's got a video down in the description. The buyer was all in for $28.79 on that. The next item came out of that same dibble box that I bought for my husband. This was one of the items he obviously did not want. Um, it is a coach uh, charm. It's got like purses and shoes and bags on it. It's a key fob, uh, keychain, key ring. And I sold this for $28 plus shipping. The next item also came out of the vintage hair things that I got from the garage sale. I ended up taking a best offer of $15 on these and the buyer paid shipping. To be honest with you guys, I almost just donated these because I, I just wasn't sure if they would even sell. And I figured they would be really long tail and they actually sold pretty quickly. The next item I sold is this Bass Pro Shops patch. It's seven by five. It's a pretty big patch. I got this from a garage sale in the free box and sold it for $22.50 plus shipping. You guys, if you're not checking the free boxes, check the free boxes. You would be surprised what people think have has no value that actually does have value. This is another piece of the vintage Marks Toys Guns of Navarun set that I parted out. Um, this one I took a best offer of $13 and the buyer paid shipping. It has a lot of staining on it. If it would have been in mint condition, I would have listed it for more. The next item that sold is this vintage dollhouse miniature record set. Super cute. Ended up taking a best offer of $13 on this and the buyer paid shipping. I got this at an estate sale and a huge box of dollhouse furniture. This item came out of a different dibble box that I purchased from Donatella Bottolino. 
These are travel alarm clocks. I didn't feel like testing them. I didn't feel like making my husband test them. So I just put sold is, as is for parts repair. Um, I didn't want to mess with it. So they may have worked. They may not have worked. Um, it was just kind of an extra item in the box. Um, and I listed it for $20. I'm sorry. I listed it for $35. It was on sale. Took a best offer of $20. The buyer was all in for $30.79. The next item I sold is this Disney store Tiana princess. She's from uh, the princess and the frog. And I sold her for $23. The buyer was all in for $29.50 and I paid $4 for her at a garage sale. All right, you guys. So, um, those were 25 bread and butter and we just whizzed through those. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Uh, tell me, do you like to know the total price? Because a lot of times I will just say the buyer paid shipping. Um, and then sometimes I will tell you what they paid with tax and um, what do you call it with tax and shipping. So let me know what you prefer and kind of like to get your feedback on that. I know I've asked that before, but it's been a while. Um, if you made it this far, leave me an emoji of, do they have an owl? emoji. If they have an owl emoji. That would be really cool. I don't know if they do. Um, if they don't have an owl emoji, just write owl. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, I do have items in my store that are owls themed and I put Olo, O-L-O in the title. So if you want to search my eBay store for Olo, you can see some of the owls I have listed. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.